Hello, welcome to the show. <laughs> Qué bueno. President Donald Trump is not a friend of foreigners. On January 25, 2017, he signed an executive order called Enhancing Public Safety in the Interior of the United States. It expands the freedoms of ICE officers and gives them the power to prioritize the deportation of all immigrants, not just immigrants with serious criminal records. Since then, twice as many non-criminal undocumented immigrants have been arrested, and many others fear deportation. There's a low likelihood that we will be deported, but there is a chance, like it is not guaranteed that I will be granted U.S. citizenship. Claro, mi nombre es Juan Rivera y soy un inmigrante indocumentado. My name is Rodrigo. I am currently a junior in the MSB, studying finance, operations management. I am originally from Mexico. I can't imagine not, not being deported. Like I have lived here for 15 years, I've been educated here, and my life is here. Every immigrant has a different story. Some have visas, some have green cards, and some risk everything to travel here without documentation. Y es complicado al momento de pasar una frontera con otra. Algunos, algunos son ríos, algunos son lagos. A veces es nada más pura tierra, pero siempre está como que el miedo, ¿no? A veces hay hambre, a veces no se puede bañar uno, pero Son condiciones que uno a veces está dispuesto a pagar por estar aquí. I am currently an F1 student, meaning I'm an international student holding an F1 visa, which allows me to stay in the United States for the duration of my studies, plus an optional 12-month period in which I could get training or work for a company uh, aligned with my studies. So I came here in 2001. My family had like a work visa under my dad uh, for about six years. And then in 2007, we applied for a green card and got it. And our green card uh, lasts for 10 years. And it is going to expire in December of 2017. Let's be frank and let's have an honest conversation about what the legal means for you to come to this country look like because they're not easy. Like, if you're talking about tightening the border, be aware of the fact that you're tightening something that's already pretty freaking tight. Los procesos son muy exigentes y es como un poco difícil, ¿no? Y a veces es como que queda mejor optar por hacerlo de otras maneras. I just can't imagine for families across this country who came here undocumented or even not, even are here legally, um, what this election and what the reality of Trump's administration implies for them.